I'm tired right now. Style in your life. A little more strength in your life. Get this little weenie collar off you. Off there, actually, go back in there. Ah, that yellow line. Heat makers, crack music, crack. up like a, a lot. The high stakes game keep away. Yeah, this is just a shock line. So what it does is it just eliminates the shock in the line for the dog when they lunge. Now, essentially, like, this is the same thing. So honestly, it's almost useless out here on this line because this line already has a lot of give. So I was already doing that, but it's more of a travel line. You know, you use it, you attach it to a pole or anything like that, and instead of it just being a jolt, it's, you know, it's nice and stretchy. Now we got lines. We got plain line. I really teach you now. Watch me that pillow. Typically we have a dog in a harness. I wasn't really gonna start out doing this, but I know a lot of people talk shit about a dog wearing a collar when they're doing, um, you know, bite work, different things like that. Like, you just gotta understand a little bit of science here to understand why it's, when the collar is almost two and a half inches thick, it's a lot different than, you know, most of these people that are using like a one inch, you can just click them and bring them in. Just people that are using like a one inch collar, you know, it's less, less surface area, you know, so that then it's, it's more pressure in one area when it's more, it doesn't put as much pressure down, you know, so. I know people don't think things all the way through all the time, which is fine, you're not supposed to. But, you know, you try to put a little thought into certain things and you can figure it out. But yes, ideally, when I do like heavy work where the dog will be pulling a lot on the line and I'm doing more agitation, then the dog will be in a harness and soon he'll have a person behind them. But right now I have to reverse a lot of garbage that, you know, some other trainers probably did. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm just making sure the dog bites well. Um, you know, he's not too obsessed with the equipment and just seeing early on that he'll 
go civil and want to bite a hand or a person. So it's pretty basic right now, but it'll be good. Heat makers, heat makers, crap music. Well, this is a scary dog. You're very patient. I'm gonna grab the line. I'm gonna stand down there. This brilliant really socks. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Because those boots don't work, and I don't know where my other boots are at. Heatmakers. Crack music.